Now, should we teach the Gentiles? Yes, we should. Cornelius was a Gentile. Get Acts 15 and 14. Paul was teaching the Gentiles. Even though he caught a lot of flack for it. And we catch flack for it now. You have brothers looking at our videos. Was that an Edomite in the background? I don't know. I didn't I don't know what his father is. I didn't ask him. But he wanna follow Christ, so that's good enough for me. Alright? Because we're gonna do the we're gonna do the gospel for the Jews first, then the Gentiles. That's our job. Let's read it. Acts 15 and 14. Read that. Acts 15 and 14. Read that. Simeon have declared how God at first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. Simeon, that's Simon or Peter, have declared how the Most High did first visit the Gentiles, which was Cornelius, to take out a people for his name. So the Lord visited Cornelius at Joppa first to tell him to listen, go to Peter. Go to Peter because I'm going to do something here. And then he had he sent Peter a vision where even Peter himself refused the vision three times while he was asleep. Lord, I never ate anything common or unclean. But he says, eat, man, eat. Because he was preparing him to deal with a nation he never dealt with before. That was Cornelius. To take out a people for his name because there was no people out of the Gentiles for the Most High's name. And if you don't follow Christ, you're not going to make it to the other side. Israelites also. If Israelites don't follow Christ, they're not going to make it to the other side. So the Lord had to take out a people among the Gentiles that would follow him so that they can be subjects in the kingdom to come. If they don't follow Christ, then they won't make it to be these subjects. But in order to get into this kingdom, they must follow Christ. So he had to take out among the Gentiles a people for his name. Because if they don't follow him, they won't get in. That's common sense. Israelites are not going to be the only people in the kingdom. You can't have a kingdom without subjects, without people that serve it. Read that part again. Acts 15 and 14. Simeon have declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. Go ahead. And to this agree the words of the prophets as it is written. Go ahead. After this I will return and will build again and will build again the tabernacle of David which is fallen down and I will build again the ruins thereof and I will set it up that the residue of men might seek after the Lord and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called. And all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called. And you have some brothers look at that and be talking about, well, that's talking about Israelites. No, it's not. Because how do we know that? The prophecy it's talking about is through Amos. Go to Amos 9 and 11. It gives total clarity to why the Most High must take out among the Gentiles the people for his name. So yes, Gentiles can follow the Lord. Read that. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. The Lord says he will do what? Read that part again. In, in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. So through Christ that tabernacle will be raised again. The tabernacle of David, because Christ will sit on David's throne. Read on. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. Go ahead. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. They, they shall possess the remnant of who? The remnant of Edom. The remnant of Edom.